Operators, arithmetic, relational, and logical. Operators involve the use of symbols and functions to complete operations on data. These operations may be used to calculate data, arithmetic, compare data, relational, or make connections between expressions, logical. So we're gonna take a look at these three categories and examples of symbols and keywords that are used to complete them. So firstly, we have arithmetic. These are operators that are used for making calculations between different values and variables. So these symbols include plus for addition, minus for subtraction, asterisk for multiplication, and slash for division. And obviously they're used to be placed between values and they'll conduct the specific operation based on where they're placed between those values. So some examples include, if we had variables just as simple letters, C is equal to A plus B. So whatever values A and B are, when they're added together, that will equal C. And then we've got profit equals price times 0.10. And that will times profit, okay, obviously by price, 10% of that price, adding it and showing a company potentially how much profit they'd be making on a product when it's put at a specific price point with a 10% profit on top. So they are the arithmetic operations, mathematical calculations. That's what we're talking about there. The next area we're going to talk about is relational operators. These are actual operators that relate data based on values being equal to, greater than, or less than a designated value. So here we're talking about our symbols, and one of them we've seen already is the equal to symbol, and that wasn't a typo down there when you looked at the example from the previous one. It is two equal symbols usually placed next to each other in programming. And obviously, as I said, it means equal to. We then have the greater than and less than symbols to dictate whether variables and values are either greater than or less than each other when placed side by side, as well as the greater than or equal to for both greater than and less than as well, which is just combining the equal symbol with the greater and less than symbol, but also meaning it includes if the value is exactly the same as well in those categories. So examples in this area is such as A is equal to three. So whenever you reference A within your pseudocode or coding, Okay, it will be equal to three. And that may change throughout the actual program, but initially it's gonna be equal to three. But another example might be if I have a variable of age and I might say that this is targeted at adults in my program, well then if age is greater than or equal to 18, that will grant permission for someone to actually go, uh, go through. Children might need their parents' consent and a, a different page might come up if using this program if their age does not meet that criteria. So I hope this helps you understand relational operators. We're relating data against each other, specifically values and variables against each other. And then obviously different outcomes occurring on whether or not that is satisfied or not. The last category is that of logical. Okay, These are operators that are used to connect conditions and expressions together. So we can have multiple and multiple either being true for a program to continue or one of uh, multiple to be true, depending on what we do. So this uses keywords in this case, and our keywords are and, or, and not. So the and keyword is used to combine expressions together and would con uh, return a true condition, okay, if both conditions are met, okay? It'll be assigned as true, okay, based on all the conditions being met when and is placed between them. The OR logical operator is once again used to combine expressions, but it will return a true value if only one of those conditions is met. So you don't have to have all conditions being uh, true in this case, only one of those conditions need to be met and that will return a true value. And then the final category is NOT, and this is kind of like the reverse condition. So if the condition is NOT met, we still want to see what criteria will come up uh, as being false, okay, in relation to a tradition uh, based on a specific category of data in my program. So in order to illustrate this, we'll have a few examples here too. And it could just be something as if A is equal to three or B is equal to five. It's using the or symbol in that situation means if A is three or B is five, those results or those expressions will be true in this case. Another example and using the AND operator is if login equals true and password equals true. So if I'm logging into a system, I need both the login and password to be true for a user in order for them to gain access to a system. So in this instance, we need both those uh, conditions to be true for this program to proceed. 
So I hope this video has given you an understanding of operators and their use within the programming world. Specifically how there's the three different categories, arithmetic for mathematical calculations, relational for comparing expressions and values and, um, and variables against each other, and logical for connecting expressions together, uh, whether they have to be all true, some true, or not true at all, okay, in order to return values to a user. You're using these all the time in programming, so make sure you understand what they're used for and how the different values and versions of each, okay, make a difference to your coding.